Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining in. Guys, in this video, we will understand how to add Google Map on your WordPress website. Now, to show you this entire process, we have a website which is about plumbing services in San Francisco. Now, if your business is something or in if you are into a business where you want customers to actually visit your office or visit your store, then it is mandatory to show your location or to have a location or in, in form of Google Maps on your WordPress website. This entire step of adding your Google Map location on your WordPress website is very easy and all you need to do is just follow all the steps as it is and you will be able to do it by yourself in just simple steps. Now in order to add a Google Map, I need to select a page on my website. The ideal page of you know for my website is the contact page because if any customer wants to contact me then he or she will definitely visit this contact page and right now my contact us page have two information so i have a functionality that is send us a message it means if somebody wants a call back from my side then he or she can simply leave his or her details in this form and can submit the message so this will give me access of information that he provides let's say first name last name email address or maybe phone number or maybe his or her query and i or maybe someone from my team will definitely call him or her back so this is first functionality second functionality that if he or she wants to directly call me then definitely this button is there on which the number is mentioned in my previous videos i categorically mentioned how to add this call button and how to add this whatsapp button to enhance the you know interaction of your visitors with your business in form of lead or in form of call so if you want to see how these functionalities were added you can simply watch those videos by clicking on the i button right on the top of this video or you can also find the links in the description now i think after these two things i can show my location somewhere here so right now i am using elementor as a page builder i have already explained what is elementor how to use elementor in my previous videos if you haven't watched those videos go and check them out so right now i am using elementor as a page builder so i will just click on edit with elementor and in order to add a google map i have a widget in my elementor window that is called map here instead it is uh, side as google map so i will scroll down and since i need to add somewhere here so i will click on uh, this plus icon to add a new container and i will choose uh, the dual column so on the right hand side i will show the google map and on the left hand side i will show this same layout in which i will tell people if you want to visit us you can simply hit on this google location and it will redirect you to your google application uh, you know mobile application so now in order to add google map what i'll do i'll just simply drag and drop the google map widget here and you can see instantly a Google map is visible. All I need to do is I need to enter the location of my store or of my office. So let's say my office is in New York, for example. So you have to, you know, add your exact location. I am just adding a random location. So let's say my office is in New York. And as soon as I type New York, the location, the Google map of New York is loaded, right? And let's say even if in this particular area, I have a particular location or particular address, I can simply enter here. Apart from the location, what other options I get, I can zoom in or zoom out the Google map as much as I require. So let's say if I want to zoom in and if I show the location more closer, so then I can zoom in or I can zoom out. If I want to increase the height of the Google map, I can simply increase it by this button. So how much area I want to show to the user is you know controlled by this height option, right? So these are the bare minimum options that you need to perform in order to show the Google map. Now on the left hand side, I need to just show this. So I'll just copy this and I'll just paste it here. And I think I need to copy the entire container. So I can just increase the width of this container like this, right? And I can say width to 100%. And there is also a background color. Yeah, so th that is the color. So I'll just copy the color. I'll paste it here in the style section. And I can paste the hex code here like this. So the same layout is also carry forwarded. 
So here I just need to change the text. So wants to visit us. Click on the location, right? And simply I would say instead of this, I can say click here and I can show the arrow, right? Like this click here the arrow is already there so once my changes are done I can click on update and if I see the preview of changes now my contact us page has this Google map as well so now if anybody wants to visit my store visit my office he or she can simply click on this and he or she will be redirected to the Google map so if I let's say click on redirect direction so I will be redirected to the Google map website and in your case if your website visitor is using a mobile phone then he or she will be redirected to the google map or maps application and then he can easily navigate to your office so that's how you can easily integrate the map in your wordpress website now there is another method so since this part is called as footer as well so in website the header this particular part that is your header where brand name, your menu, your phone number and get a code CTA is mentioned. It is common for all the pages. Same like the footer also. So if you want to show the footer, if you want to show the map in the footer, let's say if you want to keep, uh, you know, showing this map on every page in terms of footer. So you can also add the same thing in your footer. How to do that? So let, let's just click on customize option. Right now I'm using the theme extra and this is one of the template of extra theme. So here we can see a footer builder option is there and here on the right hand side I can insert the map just by adding a widget that is HTML. So as soon as I enter HTML you can see the map is added right how the map is added in HTML by default there is a iframe. Now how to get this iframe let me clear it out and show you. So let's say if you want to manually add in the footer like this. So what you need to do is you need to go on maps.google.com you need to select your location or your address. So let's say I need to select the map of New York City, for example. And this is my map of New York City. Now I will click on the share button. Click on embed a map. And here from here you will get the short code. So just copy this HTML, come back to the website, paste it here. And boom your map is properly visible. So same thing which you did with the help of Elementor here, the same thing you performed here with the help of native customized option which includes the WordPress widget. So if you want to include in the footer and if your website supports widget in the footer section, then you can use this method. Or if you want to showcase Google map on a particular app, you know, page of the website, then you can use the another method that is using Elementor or using any page builder. So that's it for this video. I'll catch you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.